Okay. So this was very funny. Uh, Gureyev is sort of a wild and crazy player, and Yakovenko is a solid, you know, top Russian grandmaster. Things didn't work out for Gureyev, and he was floundering and sacrificing and playing silly, and he's just been lost the whole game with White. And he's down a piece, and there's, like, no compensation. So every move wins. Um, the most winning move is bishop c8, always retreat. And the idea is if you take this, then you play bishop b7, pinning the rook. It's funny because it's not happening to me. Um, so bishop c8 is plus 3.5 for black. Yakovenko made an incredible blunder here. Incredible. Now, I'm going to say he was in time trouble, but in time trouble, this is also an incredible blunder. Now, if I did it, it would be a normal blunder. If you did it, it would be one of your better moves. But Yakovenko doing it, come on, man, you know, ridiculous. Okay, so he played the low-rated player's move, d4. It's attractive to a low-rated player because it's, like, somewhat tricky. Okay, it's a terrible move. And Yakovenko playing it, I don't know, man. I guess during COVID... You know, a lot of people who didn't play over the board slow chess for a long time, they, they forgot how. You have to get vaccinated, otherwise you'll die and not watch my stream. So you, you watch more of my streams if you get vaccinated. All right. Also, if you're playing in the World Cup, you better get vaccinated. God damn. Um, I didn't say so much about it already because, you know, people show up late to the stream. But Caruana's opponent was tested positive, which they found out during the game, and they stopped the game. His opponent was forfeited, and now he's in, you know, where they keep you by yourself. I don't know. And uh, Fabi's going to stay in his hotel room and get tested again. And then round one, another player, I think, tested positive before the game started. And... Aronian's been sick for a few days with a fever, so he forfeited his first game today. So, yeah. Basically, they've changed the rules of the World Cup. The last living uh, participant wins. That's fair. Yeah. Mm. That's right. If you're anti-vax, then you, you, you won't watch the stream eventually. That's right. Yeah. Let's see. Bishop f3, rook g6 with check. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, so the idea is if you take the bishop, then black takes the rook. That's the tactical justification. So he played um, Desperado, probably an Eagles fan. Rook takes f6. I mean, that's not a difficult tactic. That's, you know, that's tactics 101. Now, Black's still better, but probably, you know, he was shocked. Like, oh, I mean, it's like embarrassing to miss that. He took that, which is also bad. He should play queen takes, queen takes, rook h8, and he's still better. And after this, he's probably not better. Now it's just bishop and two pawns for a rook. So now it's just a draw. So that was weird. He went from a piece up for nothing to like a dead draw. And they played on a long time, but nobody was better. It's always it was equal. And then they agreed to a draw here because you can't legally win. Nobody can do anything. Uh... I, I can't believe a player as strong as Yakovenko played D4. I mean, that's, you know, okay. he loses material. What? So, Timor got outplayed and lost material, and then Yakovenko blundered with D4, and the game was a draw. Good game. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Anyway, I wasn't really interested in the rest of the game. I was just, like, in total shock that he played D4. Because Rook takes F6 is a, a pretty simple tactic. Like, the queen takes this, the queen takes this, so you play rook f6. 
I mean, that's ridiculous. Terrible. 